well. So I've been posting a lot of like fitness related pictures on my Instagram and a lot of you have been asking for me to do like a fitness video routine. So I uh, got my sticky note ready over here and I was just going to kind of talk about what I've been doing to try to get healthier. Um, I'm not particularly trying to, oh my phone is on loud. Not trying to particularly lose weight. I just want to get like healthier and shape up and be in better shape, tone up, that kind of thing. Um, but I think subsequently, like doing these things will make me lose weight. So it's just kind of all part of the process. But um, first, I'm just going to talk about what I'm just going to kind of go through my daily routine. As far as what I wear to the gym, I just wear tennis shoes, running shorts, and then I wear like those like biker shorts underneath my running shorts and then a t-shirt and like a sports bra so that's not really exciting. I thought about like showing y'all an example but you know what workout clothes look like so that wouldn't really make sense. But then I just take a water bottle and I take a towel like a hand towel. I go to my, I work out at my college gym and they make us have a hand, like a towel when you work out in there. I don't know why it's like mandatory but they do and it's kind of like comes in handy a lot um, and then also I always make sure I have a quarter because they have like little lockers at the gym so if your gym has a locker make sure you have like either a key or a lock like a like a key and lock or um, like a quarter if you have to pay for it but you get your quarter back it's kind of like at Aldi when you can like return those buggies when you get the quarter you get your quarter back and then headphones because I have to listen to music um, I might do a workout playlist but right now I don't have, I don't work out to a playlist, I just work out to Kesha because her music is so upbeat and I can just like work out really well in it, with it. And then I also always take my Polar watch and I have it here and I keep it in its little box so I don't like lose all the pieces. And Beauty by Samara was like talking about this and I'm obsessed with her so I bought one. And they're like $53 off Amazon and basically what it is it's like a watch and it looks like this and this is what all of my Instagram pictures are from is me taking pictures of this watch after a workout so what you do is you wear the watch on your wrist like normal and it comes with this like strap and so you program the watch to your like weight height um, it's like weight height gender age and that like calculates like Th that way it's like specific to you as a person and then you wet this strap of this little thing you wet the back part of it and then on the front part it has like and you like wear it around like your middle like right here and then you sh take this like little polar thing which looks like this and you just strap it on there and then um, like when when you're like wearing it on your body after it's wet you like strap this thing and it like clips right here and then that actually takes your heart rate it's like a heart rate monitor and it sends the data to the watch and then it'll tell you so you know your heart rate the duration of your workout and I think like my favorite part about it is that it keeps up with how many calories you've burned and so that way every time I go to the gym normally I work out for about an hour and my goal is to burn 500 calories and sometimes I can't make that goal sometimes I'll do like 350 I normally never do less than 350 like 500 is my goal sometimes I've worked out all, like one time like all the way to 700 350 is like my bare minimum but 500 is like the goal I try to hit every time and then I typically work out like four times a week so um, four of the seven days I sometimes work out more than that sometimes less just kind of depending on how my week is but that's like pretty free like that's basically what I do this video is kind of hard to do because I do so many different things um, and like I vary it up so much because you're not supposed to do the exact same workout like every single time but typically I'll do the elliptical for 20-ish minutes give or take and then I will run on the treadmill for 20 minutes and um, then I'll go do strength training like with the machines and stuff so I'll do like the abs or like the arms thing I don't do a ton of like heavy weights or reps I'm not trying to like really bulk up I'm just trying to tone so I do low weights high reps yeah so like I'll if I'm doing like the arm press thing I'll do it on like 10 or 15 pounds but I'll do it I'll try to do it like four sets of 12 if that makes sense so like and then I'll like switch off between two machines so I do one machine 12 reps another machine 12 reps and I do each machine four times so that's like high reps low weights so I keep it at like a really low weight level sometimes for legs I'll do like leg presses or they have the hip abductor I don't know if y'all have ever seen these at the gym but they're like the hip 
adduction and the hip. One's the abduction and one's the adduction. I don't even know the difference. But I do those and you can Google it if you like want to see a picture of what I'm talking about. And then I, and recently I started getting back on the, normally I'm in like the 400 range. And so I've been getting back on the treadmill for like six minutes and then I run for like just six minutes, but I try to do it at like a really fast speed and it, slowly over time I'm going to like keep doing it more and more to kind of like get my speed up, if that makes sense. Cause like I do distance running and then I want to like do like, I want to be able to run faster and then that normally gives me the last like 40, 50 calories burned, um, like in six minutes of doing that. And then I'll get on the stationary bike until I hit 500. So I do a lot of cardio, a lot of strength. I'm just trying to like get my body moving and my heart rate up. So that way, you know, I burn calories and stuff and I get like a good workout in. Another machine I like to use is called this like pre-core machine. And you take, it's a mixture between an elliptical and a treadmill. And you can either s climb like stair step on it, like climb stairs on it, or you can like run on it. And so it like, you take your arms and it's full body motion. So you're going like all the way like this um, with your hands, but you're like your legs too. So it's like you're running in like these really big strides and it's supposed to be full body workout. So that's kind of cool. And normally I'll do it until I hit 500 as well. If I don't want to do the stationary bike. Um, so yeah, that's as far as like what I do to work out and like equipment, that is what I use. Normally I drink three bottles of water while I'm working out, normally it's like half a bottle, like you should drink an entire bottle of water before you, before you even get to the gym. So I normally do that like two hours before you go to the gym, within that two hours drink an entire bottle of water. And then while you're at the gym, like I drink water while I work out, some people don't, but I personally do. Like I drink like four, I drink three 16 ounces, so I drink like 48 ounces of water while I'm there. And then as far as eating right, I have been trying to avoid, I don't eat fried foods anymore, which is really hard because I like tater tots a lot. I'm also avoiding sugary drinks, which is another thing. I never drank like any kind of soda or anything like that, but I really love like, there's, we have at our dining halls, it's called apple mango papaya peach drink, and it's, I think it's like 100 calories for an 8 ounce glass of this stuff because it's so high in sugar, and it's only 3% fruit juice, so I'm not actually getting any kind of health benefits from it. It just tastes good. So like trying to cut out, you know, my apple mango papaya peach drink and I've just been drinking a lot more water. Occasionally I'll drink milk, normally 2%. I can't bring myself to drink skim milk unless it's in cereal because it's just not that good. So I use my fitness pal to track what I eat. I've talked about that a lot and I know a lot of people talk about it. Basically you just, you can scan like the barcodes on your phone. It's just an app feel like I don't have to go into great detail on that just because I do talk about this so much. And with my fitness pal, I normally try to do less than somewhere in the 12 to 1500 calorie range. I always eat at least 1200 calories like every single day no matter what because that's like what you need for your body to like continue like functioning and it, that's like important to stay healthy that way. If I do like a 700 calorie workout, I give myself a little bit more feedback, but I try to never eat more than like 1800 calories, even with like a really good workout. So um, I kind of like vary in my limits, but never, never less than 1200, never more than 1800. So that's at least what I attempt. I normally like, I try to do just like no cheat days, but honestly, I probably have a cheat day every seven or eight days so normally it's like I'll eat like really well for like eight days and then have a cheat day I don't think cheat days are that bad just because um, it can like help your metabolism like get back on track because you can plateau and then you almost need to take like one day off just so your your body is like back to thinking that it needs to like get rid of the fat in your body so um, I do that every once in a while even though I'm not like encouraging you to have cheat days because that really wouldn't make that much sense and I think I covered everything. If y'all have any more questions, let me know in the down bar. I'm probably going to try to start filming these videos once a month. Um, I'll do kind of like updates on how I'm doing and like how my fitness plan is like changing at all. And I can like keep y'all updated. And if you have any questions, let me know and I'll answer it in my next one, um, which should be like this time next month. And I think that's everything. So I'm going to go and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye y'all.